Hey guys, welcome to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Banto. So I want to start a new game since I feel like I've been away from another game for too long and I feel like if we start a new game it's all gonna go a lot better than we if I try to continue the previous one and I want to settle in a brand new land so I want to have the option to go for a really really good land. So we're gonna go for a new game. We're gonna go for easy mode still. I still feel like we have maybe a little bit to learn with the game. So here we have the land, we want to change this, so I'm gonna go for a land that has a lot of land in it, so I don't want to have too much water, this is pretty cool, because with this area we have a lot of space to be building something really big within this area. So I think we might be doing that, the people do like to live next to oceans though, so that is a pretty good place to live at, but I think this would be pretty good. This would probably be like the city area and uh, here we have a lot of greenery, which we can have some farms and stuff, so let's go with this one. And the flag, I'm gonna go for the yellow one, because I think it looks pretty cool. And for the name, I'm gonna go for Ban... Bantoria. So almost the same as previous one was Bantonia, but Bantoria is gonna be the new one. Let's get started in the world, guys. Okay, so yes, like I said, I think this area is gonna be like a really good area to settle down. We can't really grow much in this, and then we have this huge, huge wood, so we have some opportunity to build something pretty big around here, so hopefully that's gonna be awesome. We do have some stone down here, so that should be nice, and looks like we have some... That's the stone, actually. We do have some stone, and then we have a bunch of iron, so that is really, really nice. So I think we want to start, like, next to the woods. That should be pretty good, or at least fairly close to it. Maybe we start around here, then we can pop up our big, big castle over here. Maybe even on this one, because this is pretty much barren everywhere around that. Let's go around here. Okay, so we got our little keep going. Let's see our beautiful little people building it. Look at that. Antoria is growing up to be a big empire. Hopefully they're gonna be able to do pretty good here. So let's go and gather some of these wood. So we can start uh, building some roads and do some more houses. But so people don't have to live outside in this rain. That's not very good to be in. So uh, let's go for adding a road. We need that if we're gonna design the buildings. I'm gonna go around like that. I think I might even go around the entire house, the entire castle. I wanna have a roads around. It's gonna be a lot of wood to do this though. That should be a pretty good amount of wood. That's gonna get the last road and then we want to do some hovels. So the basic first house we're gonna go for, I would say at least three of them. Pretty good. We can have a few people to have some houses and then maybe can get some new people to join our new empire. And uh, we're gonna try to get an, um, a woodcutter soon. We don't have to forge all the trees in this way. And hopefully this town is not gonna burn as much as Bantonia did. I hope you guys don't feel like it's too bad of a decision that we restart in this. I really felt like... It was so long since I played it, so I didn't feel like I was too connected to that town anymore. So I hope you guys don't mind too much that we do in a brand new town. So I'm gonna go something like that. So every house, they do have neighbors, and also wanna pop in an well once we can get. So we need some stone before we can get that thing. So we need a quarry. I'm gonna go for, I guess, this one in the woods here. It's pretty, pretty close. I'm just gonna go all around to this. And once we have enough wood, we're gonna start to build a quarry. Two more wood and we can do a quarry, that's gonna be awesome. There we go, so that will mean that we will be getting some stone. We have beds for 25 people, so for that we're pretty good. I'm gonna check the happiness. They're pretty happy for the moment, but they don't really require so much stuff for the moment. But we wanna get a well, so that will make them feel a bit better. I like some, some of you guys said, we probably should try to do this manor in Stonehearth. I'm not doing uh, the live stream, the YouTube videos. We're gonna try to do this house in Stonehearth and see what we end up with. It looks pretty awesome, looks pretty cool. We might do these smaller ones, but this one is uh, the one that I think uh, kind of looks the best of them. Okay, so let's see if we can maybe do an forest pretty soon. We need three stones to get that. Town's we need ten stone. We might do two cores, because you can have two cores per stone or per iron. So then you can have two mines, and this one can have two cores. So that's pretty good, so we can gather more of it. 
I guess we don't need to gather more wood for the moment. It looks like we can actually do this uh, forester. Here we go. So I'm gonna pop it... Um, let's see. Let's go for it here. That's gonna be good. And let's chop that one down. A lord, no one is available to work for a new construction. Yeah, we do have too few people for the moment. So if we get a weld, we're gonna make our people a little bit happy. It's kinda going down at the moment. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about getting food. What I'm, What is Banta doing? Okay, we have to seriously get some food. That's super important. So I'm just gonna go for a few farms around here. That's some panic uh, farming, pretty much. I don't know why, but I totally forgot about it. That could be the end of uh, Bantoria. Hopefully that's not gonna be the end of it. That would be a very bad mistake of me. A terrible one. So what we can do for now, just so we get so much uh, work doing, is to remove these guys. So we're not gonna gather any stone for the moment. Because we do need to make the farms, we do need to start doing the farming. Start to collect some foods. So I'm gonna go for a bunch of like um, farms around here and then later on I will move them really where I want them. So like for example this is a really good area and these darker paths here is even better to grow. They make it grow even more in it so that's really nice when we have a very fertile ground. So let's hopefully we're gonna survive this. I don't know why Banto decided to forget about that. Let's go for that one also. My lord one peasant died from starvation. I'm so sorry man. I wondered if I will leave and be able to save them. <laughs> totally forget about the food. I guess I wanted to expand a little bit too fast. So hopefully this will give them a tiny bit of food. I really, really hope so. So food is the top priority for this moment. And we maybe want to buy, build like a granary. We might need to get one of those. Okay, now we got some food. Probably not gonna be very much, but... I started to quarry again, so we're getting some stone. And the reason I'm getting stone is because I want to... I want to get a town square. Because the town square will make our people feel a little bit happier. Probably pretty sad, 60 happiness. Looking green still, but it's... Um, not going too good, I would say. I'm gonna pop out... Um, let's see, let's go for three more houses. I'm expanding pretty fast, and... Maybe would have wanted to have the town square, but I might put it here later on. Then we we'll do more buildings like around this area. So I really want to cover this barren land up because we can't grow anything on it anyway. So it's a good place for like building a city. So at least our people didn't fully die. I was very scared that we was actually gonna perhaps lose entire town there. And uh, let's do a small granary. Maybe, actually, we shouldn't put it out now, but the thing is that if we have it here, they will be able to deliver all their stuff faster. So I'm gonna put it here for now. Do some roads. Dragon sighted. Hopefully that's not gonna be dangerous. First dragon generally isn't that hard. So he pretty much shouldn't attack. We'll see if we do or not. And did watch the latest Game of Thrones again. It was really exciting. Not gonna spoil anything, but really, really interesting good episode and i'm looking forward to see the season finale the next week so that's gonna be awesome hope you guys are also looking forward to the the next game of thrones i'm gonna go chop down a few trees just because the forest is not working as fast as i want for the moment we maybe will need to get another forest or perhaps 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 another one I'm actually gonna move this one. I'm not really happy with the, the position I got for that one. Congratulations, Bantori is now a small village. Nice. So we want to go for the granary and I was thinking of maybe putting it... Here would be... It's kind of far away though. But if we put it here we can grow some stuff around it and that would be really like quick to deliver stuff. So two new farms over there, and then we're gonna get some windmill later on also. I don't think it would be worth to have a windmill for only three farms, but remember it's not gonna be worth it for that. Maybe, I guess this one it will be worth to have. That's quite expensive, 25 wood and 35 stones, so it's not anything super cheap. 
Okay, let's go up here. I feel like we need to gather wood at a little bit of faster pace than we're doing for the moment. I'm gonna go for another forest. We still need to chop down a bunch of things. Okay, they're still looking pretty happy, but we should get um, a town square. I'm gonna fit it. I think here would be a pretty good spot for it. We need 20 wood for that. I guess we pop down a uh, forester before we do that. I'm gonna put it in the barren spot. And this place is actually very good, like, where you have a forest, it's really, really good for farming, because normally it looks like they have a lot of very, very fertile ground, and that's really good if you're gonna grow some crops on it. Get 20 wood, 4 more wood, give me 4 more wood, guys. My little people, Bantoria needs your wood. Okay, we got it. So here is where I wanna put it, so see it's covering pretty good around here. So that means we can have a pretty nice amount of houses around this area, and this will still cover around to a lot of them. And uh, I do think I wanna do... I'm not sure, I kinda like to go and add roads around this. It's maybe not a super good idea to do it, but I just think it looks really nice. But I'm gonna do it. So for the moment, uh, I guess we can get, get a few more houses. Later on, we're also gonna start like removing some of these hovels because we don't want to have only these small houses around. Let's see how they're doing. We might have to do something a little bit more farms. Something like that, perhaps is good for now. Don't think it will be too far from to go and deliver it here. I mean, maybe we'll need to like expand this. Not too far from now, this can have 200 stored food in it. Okay, let's get another well, let's see how much this one covers. It do cover pretty good. So I think we put like a well... ...down here, maybe we have pretty good coverage, and then we put another one here. We kinda do the same thing for both sides around town square, and I think that will be... ...hopefully ending up pretty good, I hope so. Let's see what we need. Maybe we should get some um, charcoal maker. That will make the people happier. And we need to put that somewhere, like, away from the town. I might put it next to the wood. Hopefully they're not gonna burn up the wood. Because they're burning a lot of stuff here. But it's really close to the woodcutter, so that might be perhaps pretty good. Or maybe we should move it when we have barren land. It only seems, what i seen, that these charcoal makers, they don't want to live next to them, but it only seems like... It's exactly the block right next to it, so like if you put it here, it doesn't seem like they get mad for having it here. So from what I've seen, it doesn't seem like they really need to have it way too far away. So I'm actually gonna pop one there, and uh, we're gonna see if they're gonna be annoyed by that. As no charcoal to far away from none available. Okay, so we need... I think we will need one more. I don't think one is enough for the people. And we should maybe consider, perhaps start to build a tower, at least we have some kind of like defense. And yes for now, since I can't really like go around and defend myself all around the borders, we're just way too far away from something like that. I'm gonna do a tower in the middle, and I'm gonna go for, an, I think, an arrow tower, just so we can, if the Vikings decide to come, we can at least shoot them a little bit in the face so they don't raid totally freely. I think we might need another, another forester. Put down another hovel. We're spending quite a bit of wood with these ones. Let's see if they are annoyed by living close. It doesn't look like it. And the houses are green. So the hovels have what they want, pretty much, almost. Oh, a lot of wood. And let's go and um, make a road over. It's gonna go in here, and then we can have another forester. Gonna be nice. Let's see here. Should get. Uh, let's get another hovel. Not too far from now. Maybe we'll do some cottage so we can have them to live in those. That should be pretty awesome. An orchard. They're pretty good and they can't get flooded. I guess a zone like this would be really awesome with it. Very fertile for them. That's a really good zone for growing stuff on. 
So for the moment we're going plus 11, we might want to perhaps increase the food a little bit then. We stay on the green side and not go over to the pass to the red side, that's not gonna be good. We can build our first cottage, awesome. Actually, we didn't put them exactly the same, so let's demolish that one and we're gonna move it a tiny bit. Just one more block, like that. Then we have them the same there. Let's do a cottage. That's gonna get a lot of new people to move in. Uh, this spot, I probably wanna go and add a windmill. 25 wood, so chop this down and then we're gonna add a windmill there. It's going pretty good, until we get raided, I guess. So let's go up a bit. I think we might not be able to go further up than that. Okay, further five stones. So what we're gonna do is to... Mm, it's not gonna work. I was thinking of popping down and... Um, a road there. So we might have to chop it down again. Depending on if it's gonna start to grow there again. Okay, let's start this one. So we get a little bit quicker with um, the stone. Let's see if we can maybe hold a festival. We don't have any money yet. So we should try to get uh, the treasure room. We need 50 stones for that one. We still have space for people to join, so hopefully we get some new ones soon. I need to experiment a little bit more with the baker. I, I haven't had like really good use of it so far when I play the game. Looks like I need a well up here. Definitely need a well here. So let's go and pop a well there. It's gonna be nice. So it's burning like crazy in the grass here. Is this Bantonia or Bantoria? I'm not really sure. It's burning at least. Okay, a tiny bit more stone and we get the, gr um, the windmill. So the food is going pretty good. Happiness is pretty good for the moment. Let's see what these guys, they probably want neighbors. Resident want neighbors. I'm just gonna give them a little hovel next to them for now. Okay, so we have wells here, one here and one here. I think that's good enough. We maybe need to have it next to the foresters. I'm not sure if we need it. I guess it doesn't hurt to have another one. So that will cover the foresters a little bit better. And now it's burning in wood. I guess we did need that one. It's burning like crazy here. We have a lot of people going here. Wow, it's burning. This is a big, big fire, man. Wow. Oh, wow, it's really burning a lot. Could have used that rain by now. Come on, my people, you can do it. Save the house, save the forest. Okay, I think we're on the safe side. A tavern, yeah, we need a tavern. So this one, oh, I guess we don't have the cover of the hovels. I'm gonna try to cover it maybe down here, or maybe let's, yeah, let's remove these. Sorry for breaking houses, but we need a tavern to get drunk. So we're gonna pop it in here, and then we have to give them some new houses, of course. Can't leave them on the street like this. Go like that for now. That's gonna be good. So we will, like, destroy, build new buildings, change the town. That's like an, how a town really looks um, and works in real life. Sometimes you break stuff, and sometimes you have to build new stuff. Let's see how far we are to get this one. We need to get some treasure soon, we need to collect some gold. Then we can make the people happy with the towns so we have festivals. And we need that if we're gonna get the archer tower, so that's uh, the next thing we're gonna get is a treasure room. Not sure if we need to get another quarry, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps we do. So it looks like the closest one might be down... where was it? This one, maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be this one. Pretty, pretty far away. Let's just go for one to start with. Maybe we could get like an um, a stockpile. That could maybe be good so we can store some stuff in that. Let's get a big one and let's put it. 
I'm gonna have it next to the, um, the castle. I think that's gonna be a good area. Then we need this one. Nine more stone and we're ready for that. Looks like we need more houses if we want to get more people. Let's get the treasure first though. Treasure room. I'm gonna put it right next to what we got going on here. Be nice. Hello my advisors. Sire took too long to store the harvest, some of it was ruined for the winter. Sire peasants grew unhappy, some have no access to the church or library. Did you see the dragon? Perhaps we should build some defense in case it decides to return. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Once this is done and we start collecting some gold, then we're gonna then we're gonna get a tower up. But guys, I'm gonna leave it for here for today, so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm sorry that I restarted, but I felt, to me, it felt like it would be the best thing, because now I feel like I have control of the town and like what's going on since I had had a way too long pause with the previous one. So guys, hope you enjoyed this. If you did enjoy it, let me know with a like on the video if you liked the video and want to see more of Kingdom's Castles. So guys, thanks for being here and I hope to see you next time, so thanks for watching and take care.